Hello, welcome to the Greybeard channel. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please hit the like button. If you don't, hit it anyway and lie to me. <laughs> and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have, make sure you're still subscribed, because sometimes uh, gremlins get into the uh, system and mess with you. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications, and uh, share the crap out of it. Yeah, we're going to do the mirrors on the uh, X50. And uh, I'd like to do a ride today, but it's too cold, as you can see. I'm wearing my jacket. It was snowing yesterday. <laughs> it's crazy. Anywho, I'll make sure we're we on the subject here. Uh, yeah, there we go. This screen's so small that I can't <laughs> hardly see it. But uh, I cut the hole out on the uh, right side of the bike and uh, test fitted the, uh, the mirror. They're going to work, uh, I'll show you. I chose a different style of mirror on this one. I like the mirror itself better, the, not the, the shape so much, but the actual mirror. I mean, this is just a regular mirror like it should be. Uh, then ones I just put on the uh, Polarna X01 that I did in the last video, they're actually not glass, they're stainless. And they try to make them look concave and that's what gives them that warped look. Where a uh, glass, if it was concave, or con not concave, convexed, uh, it would be a, a, a clean bubble, you know, just slightly bubbled to make things wider angled, you know. But anyways, we don't care for the flower look on the outside. That's what it makes me think of as a flower, if you can see the design in it. But uh, I went with a classic ground mirror. Other than that, they're pretty much the same thing. You know, it's got the, it's all plastic. The only thing really metal is the bolt and the little nut in there that draws this in. And I can even show you how it works. This is how it bites onto the inside of the handlebar as you tighten the, uh, the bolt, this expands and locks into the inside of that uh, bar. These don't have caps, so, but it still looks pretty clean. Uh, I kind of like that actually. Only thing is it actually, it's got what looks like could be a cap. <laughs> I don't know what that's for, but it, uh, it actually locks into like a nut there. It's got a nut shape inside there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's got a hex shape. But they look all right, and I like it classic look. And uh, they're actually, uh, the stems are shorter, so they're closer to your handlebars and everything, so it actually gives it, a, to me, a cleaner look. But we'll go ahead and cut the hole on this. These should go on fairly easy. And uh, when you cut the hole, I'm using just a regular razor blade. I would. I got an X-Acto knife somewhere, but I'm not really sure where. If I had it handy, I could have swore I had it laying in, oh, hold it, here it is. We changing tools. Maybe I can cut a nicer, uh, <laughs> I'll show you the hole on the other one when we do the, when we do the other mirror. Um, I got my little razor blade out of the scraper. <laughs> Trying to. Trying to get it in there straight though. Oh, any hoose. When you're cutting this hole, you don't have to be perfect, but just be delicate. Don't get too close to the edges. I just about did on that other one. But uh, just, uh, oh, went to cut and the daggone thing went back in on me. Okay, I think I hit the, the bar. The bar is actually, <laughs> yeah, see there, you gotta be careful. With a razor blade, it's it's real sharp and uh, it'll it'll uh, get away from you and cut more than you want <laughs> if you're not careful. But uh, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you plan on using your mirrors, because <laughs> uh, this is not going to be the cleanest. Let me uh, borrow one of Alan's wrenches here. I left it laying over here. Thank God I thought about it leave that thing there and lose it going down the road 
As you can see, it's, it's not looking anything like a circle. I'd hope to cut a complete circle, <laughs> but uh, it's not been coming out that way. Uh, the thing started popping in on the other side, and I grabbed this Allen key, and you just got that little hole there, which I just dropped the Allen key. But I uh, used it to uh, grab at the, uh, the piece that's getting cut out. I'm hoping you, you're getting down when I'm laying down. Yeah, that doesn't look that pretty, does it? I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit. It does need to come up some. Afraid to go too high, though. The older you get, the further down that floor looks and the harder it is to reach down there, too. <laughs> <clears throat> if you ain't already as old as I am. <laughs> Microphone system went out on me. <laughs> the uh, battery went dead on the mic. <laughs> and then I went to fix it up <laughs> and uh, continue filming the install and uh my cheap little this ain't the gopro brand at least i don't think it is it's a it's from a kit that i bought oh several years ago on uh uh amazon a whole kit that's like 20 some dollars for like shoot i can't remember how many pieces a, a ton of them i got a couple more of these uh went to put the camera back on the well, see, this is a regular camera tripod. Well, this piece is to adapt it. And that round part around it just crumbled. And it was just sitting there. I don't know. I don't know what. I was like, I want to put the camera on there. And I, it was like going like this. Well, I don't know. It's got horizon lock. It probably didn't show you. It was like going like this on the <laughs> stand. And, uh, yeah. I was like, Dad, going with the heck? Because I didn't drop it or bump it or anything like that. I'm putting you on the uh, the little mini tripod. I want to try to work at somehow or another. And now you can hear me going, look, 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 trying to screw this back onto the little mini pod. Uh, clean some of this junk out of the way on my. <laughs> uh, what you call it here let me get you back on here where you can see what i'm doing here see what i'm laying down any hooks uh yeah your, your hole don't have to be perfect long as the mirror will fit in there because once you get it on there it's going to clean it right up and then let's see hold it yeah, this one is like at the max what this handlebar can handle. And uh, you got to make sure you got enough slack in it. See right here, it's, you can see where it's spread a little bit right there. You need to make sure that this bolt is loose enough to where it can meet flat. And then you can slide it in there a lot easier. And uh, there we go. We're in. And, you know, we're using the, the Allen wrench from the old set of mirrors because it happens to fit. But, uh, we'll get her, dang it. Hey, my mic went dead on me. I should have checked that well before I decided to film. Trying to make sure I'm going to have enough range of motion here for my adjustability. Yeah, see, it's still, look, I can, I can, I'm not even putting any effort on this, look, 
but it was already tight enough it wasn't moving you gotta be uh like i say if you buy these mirrors i don't know how durable they are yet we will be finding out but yeah there's plenty of uh view there and that's as high as i can go i probably need to go down a little bit anyway we'll find out when we go down there i'm looking at the back back of the seat of the Polarna right now. So that should be about the right angle on up and down. Anyways, see how clean that looks? She looked clean. Let's see, it doesn't really matter how, how you cut the hole, as long as it, you know, you don't want to come way out here and have a little knife cut showing all around there, but Looks like a professional did it, don't it? Sometimes I can fool people. <laughs> but anywho, get your tripod back open on this stupid little thing. I think that thing's paid for itself, though, this little mini tripod. And then, <clears throat> get the bike situated where you can see the other side. And I think I just adjusted the mirror with my arm trying to move the bike. I guess you do. And then, okay, you can still see it. Okay, right there. I know it looks funny me going like this all the time, but I'm I'm doing it so I can see it in the little the little uh, screen on the uh, front of the GoPro. <laughs> oh, need to loosen this one up. Just a skosh. That should do it. And see, <laughs> it's not that pretty either. I kind of, kind of let it get away with me right there. Uh, actually, it's not too too bad. It's about about level. You can see the bar in there. Anyways, it just looks nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have been able to take a ride today, but uh. And as you're, as you're inserting it into the bar, just help it, you know, with the keeping them together, cause they, they like to come away, uh, you know, come loose uh, real quick. And let me, uh, well, let's snug her up a little bit. Okay. See, it's already biting a little bit. <coughs> There we go. Trying to get my, uh, yeah, I definitely tweaked that uh, <laughs> mirror with my arm. Yeah, it's probably about right. Anywho, I'll probably end up having to adjust them on the road anyway. But what I was trying to do is uh, get it symmetrical. Let's go with that, I think. Yeah. Thick stubby fingers don't work too well. That's why <laughs> occasionally I'm dropping stuff cause, and if you'd have seen my dad's hands, now look, I'm not putting any effort on it. Guarantee it, yeah, she is locked into place. And, uh, Watch, no effort. I mean, very little. I mean, you can feel some some tension there, but, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And if you look at the mirror, other than the little bit of lint I got on it, <laughs> you can see how clean it is. In fact, let's turn you toward the uh, garage. And look at the garage door, no distortion. And I do believe these are slightly convex. I could be wrong, but I mean, just ever so slightly, not even like a passenger mirror on a car. And uh, bleep bloop it in the comments what you think. I think they look pretty clean. 
real clean. And I mean, it's that easy, that quick. It could have been quicker had I not been filming it <laughs> and having my troubles with the uh, microphone going dead on me. I gotta get a new adapter for this. Well, I might already have it. If not, I will have to buy a new adapter. I guess it lasted me, uh, <laughs> oh, six years, five years at least. Yeah, five years at least. Yeah, let me know what you think, which style you like best. Bleep loop it down in the comments. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think, which one you like best. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, please. Help, help a fella out. And uh, comment. Don't be afraid to lay down a comment, good or bad. Because they all helped. It all boosts the algorithm. Or boosts the channel in the algorithm. And uh, yeah, sometimes name brand uh, products are worth the extra money. <laughs> but like I say, I got my money out of it. But you figure, if I was on there and that thing did it and that little nut come out, which I don't know if it would or not. Yeah, I guess it could, yeah. It's still in there pretty good. But yeah, she got wobbly on me. Anywho, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications to make sure you get, you know, all my comment when it, when it loads up, you know, when I release it, and uh, share the crap out of it.